In this video, I'll share new and unique Nano Banana Pro prompts, and the last three will blow your mind. If you go to Google Gemini, select the Create Image option to activate Nano Banana Pro with search grounding, and then use this prompt. Nano Banana Pro will fetch today's live weather data for London, UK, and turn it into a full 3D isometric miniature city scene. I'm using London as the example here. After you hit Generate, Nano Banana Pro creates this beautiful 45-degree top-down miniature of London featuring Big Ben, Tower Bridge, the London Eye, and the Riverfront, all styled like a premium collectible city model. And here's the crazy part. The sky, lighting, reflections, clouds, rain, or sunshine all match the real weather in London right now, thanks to search grounding. At the very top of the image, Nano Banana Pro also renders a clean weather panel with the title, Today's Date, the current temperature, and a live weather icon pulled from the real data. You can try it for different cities and you get cool results like these. Next, you can create these cool isometric 3D cities floating a coffee cup. If you use this prompt and simply replace Tokyo with any city you want, for this example I'm using Tokyo, then hit generate. Nano Banana Pro creates this insanely clean isometric miniature city floating inside a cappuccino cup on a wooden table. You can clearly see Tokyo Tower, Skytree, Shibuya Crossing, and dense neon streets, all perfectly centered inside the cup. Even the tiny moving vehicles and miniature roads are visible, which adds insane realism. I also tested this with Dubai and Karachi, and the results look absolutely wild. Every city keeps its identity perfectly inside the cup. Now this one is seriously powerful. If you upload a building image and use this prompt, Deconstruct the building shown in the reference image. The structure is now in its earliest construction phase, showing only the steel framework, foundation pillars, exposed concrete slabs, and scaffolding. Remove all glass, exterior walls, paint, and finishes. Keep the same camera angle, lighting direction, and perspective as the original image. Nano Banana Pro will strip it down to its earliest construction phase. No walls, no glass, no finishes. You'll get a clean skeleton version of the building from the same camera angle. Then you take both images into Kling 01. Upload the deconstructed version as the start frame, upload the final image as the end frame, and use the time lapse prompt. In just a few seconds, Kling generates a full construction time lapse, from steel frame to fully finished building. Cranes move, floors are poured, glass installs, lighting turns on, everything happens automatically. And it doesn't just work for buildings. I also tested this on a fully furnished room, and it created a flawless room renovation time lapse from empty structure to luxury interior. Before we move to the next use case, quick reminder everything you're seeing in this video, the prompt structure, the workflows, all of this is already organized step by step inside my Nano Banana Pro prompt guide. Inside the guide, you get complete copy paste prompt templates full workflow breakdowns, and 50 plus crazy professional use cases just like these. So instead of guessing or experimenting for weeks, you can just follow proven systems and get results immediately. You'll find the direct link to the guide in the description and pinned comment. Now let's go cinematic. If you use this prompt, Nano Banana Pro generates a colossal businesswoman inside downtown New York, shot from an extreme low angle perspective. She's literally pinching the top of a skyscraper like it's a toy. The cars, people, and buildings below look tiny, which sells the scale perfectly. Now I created a few more variations using the same concept. Here, you can see a giant fashion model holding a luxury perfume bottle, gently spraying mist across the city skyline at dusk. Next, a colossal professional athlete stepping over a massive bridge at golden hour. The shadows, lighting, and scale look straight out of a movie trailer. And here's a giant runway fashion model walking through a luxury city at night, treating the streets like a fashion runway, with photographers and traffic below. Next, if you use this prompt and simply replace with any brand you want, Nano Banana Pro will turn that logo into a hyper-real 3D furry object. I tested this with a few brands, and the results look insanely clean. The logo is fully wrapped in soft, detailed fur, floating in the center with dramatic backlighting and a dark premium background. It still keeps the original brand colors, but now it feels tactile, cozy, surreal, and ultra-modern. Now this one is super fun. If you upload your own photo into Nano Banana Pro and use this prompt to generate a 3x3 grid of different cool hairstyles, 
you instantly get nine unique hairstyle variations of yourself in one single image. Each version keeps your face, lighting, and proportions consistent, but the hairstyles change perfectly. It literally looks like a professional hairstyle concept board created in seconds. Now watch this. With Nano Banana Pro, it's easy to combine different styles in a single image. If you use this prompt, Nano Banana Pro creates a realistic morning cafe scene, but here's the twist. One character appears as a full anime style man, another customer exists as a hand-drawn pencil sketch, and another one appears as a stop-motion clay figure. All of them are placed inside the same realistic cafe scene, blending completely different art styles into one seamless image. This is one of those effects that instantly makes people ask, how did you even make this? Now this one is absolutely insane for product marketing. If you upload your perfume or product image into Nano Banana Pro and add this 3x3 luxury grid prompt, Nano Banana Pro instantly creates a full premium perfume campaign layout in one single generation. Each square becomes a different high-end marketing concept. A clean hero bottle shot, fragrance mist in motion, liquid glass swirl wrapping the bottle. The craziest part is, the bottle shape, label, cap, and colors stay perfectly accurate across all nine images with zero distortion. Now this one is straight up advertising magic. I found this illusion ad on Twitter and recreated it for my own energy drink using Nano Banana Pro. All I did was upload the original reference image, upload my own drink can, and use this exact prompt. Nano Banana Pro keeps the same camera angle, same smartphone position, same desk, same window lighting, and same pouring pose, but replaces the original bottle with my own branded drink. And look at this. The hand is pouring the drink from the real world into a glass inside the phone screen. Even the screen edge reflections and depth are preserved, so it actually feels like the drink is crossing from the real world into the digital screen. If you use this chibi miniature concept store prompt and simply replace the brand name and the core product, Nano Banana Pro will generate a full blind box toy style brand store. For example, here's Pizza Hut. The entire store is literally shaped like a giant dripping cheese pizza slice. It has two floors, glass windows, warm lighting, tiny staff inside, and cute miniature visitors outside. Next, here's the Nike version. The whole store is designed like a giant sneaker with a sleek black and white interior and miniature shoppers walking outside. And here's the Apple version. The store itself is shaped like a giant upright iPhone with a clean white showroom inside and tiny Apple staff at work. What you have seen is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to master Nano Banana Pro properly, my full Nano Banana Pro prompt guide has everything you need. Step-by-step -step workflows, cool ready-to-use templates, and 70-plus insane creative use cases just like the ones you saw in this video. I also update the guide regularly with new prompts, new workflows, and fresh creative ideas, so you're always ahead. You'll find the guide linked in the description and pinned comment. And if you want me to drop another video like this, just comment part three below. And in the meantime, you can watch the part one here with more cool prompts and use cases.